The Salvation Army has served San Francisco since 1883 uh, and has really been in the trenches serving the most needy with meals, housing, shelter services, uh, and has really developed a, a competitive advantage in the space of drug rehabilitation. Of being on the streets for so long and that pulling of the rug out from underneath you is that folks start to lose hope. While things are getting worse, San Francisco's rising to the occasion. We have to appreciate that this is the crisis of our time and that the way that we can address this is by pulling together all of the constituencies. I want to welcome you all to the Salvation Army's 16th annual holiday luncheon. You know, when you're fortunate in this world, you owe it to others to, to give forward. Any given night, there are about 700 to 750 individuals staying at a Salvation Army facility here in San Francisco. We have the capacity to double that number and add 1,500 beds to the network along the entire continuum of care. In uh, January 2018, I became a statistic uh, when my drug addiction took over my life and led me to homelessness in San Francisco. Today, it's all about service to others. I now work at the Railton Place next door, which is an SRO, as a case manager, helping formerly homeless veterans and formerly chronically homeless people get back on their feet. It's something I'm very familiar with. I can never have come this far without the unconditional help of the Salvation Army. And I say that unconditionally because my rehab was completely free. I didn't pay a dime. When somebody completes a 90-day program, a year later there's a 10% chance that they'll stay clean and sober. But if we add two years of, of clean, supportive housing, that statistic goes up to near 90%.